WWE <laughs> changed up their commentary teams this uh, past week. We saw the, the Raw commentary team being changed. Now uh, Tom Phillips is out. Adnan Verk, formerly of ESPN and the MLB Network, is in as the commentator. The Raw team is Adnan Verk, uh, Corey Graves, as well as Byron Saxton. And then the SmackDown team is comprised of Michael Cole and the new Pat McAfee. And, you know, look, when I first heard that Pat McAfee was on WWE, was going to be a commentator, I had mixed feelings. And I still have mixed feelings about it after watching him for one week. But we'll get into that in a second. But McAfee, you know, he... The, the thing that worried me going into it was he's not he's not a wrestler. And when you have someone who isn't a wrestler as an analyst, like as a as like a as a color guy, it can be it can be weird. Right. Or someone who hasn't been involved in wrestling for a long time, like Bobby Heenan was or Paul Heyman was, you know, because they were deeply involved. They were managers who were deeply involved in wrestling for decades before they became color guys. So. That was the worry going in. But I also know Pat McAfee's entertaining. I watch his show almost every day. I listen to it. Uh, it's a great show, Pat McAfee Show Live. So I was like, okay, let's see where this goes. And it was, it wasn't, here's the thing. It wasn't inherently bad, right? Right, right. It, but, but there were points where you were just like, the tone is a little off, you know. I think it, it, he, like, he was hamming it up a little bit more than he probably should have been. And... I don't know if you watched SmackDown, but it was also just the, there were a lot of moments of silence. Yeah, I noticed it was. That, that yeah. I feel I feel like if there was somebody else there, it would have been filled. Um, and, and you know, silence, especially during an era in wrestling where there's no crowds, you can't have silence. No. You can't have no. silence. No. Not at all. You can't have it at all. So it's so that was so that was it. I, I think you know he'll probably get better, but I do think that. You know, if if there was, I don't like the three team uh, commentary uh, teams. I don't like the three member commentary teams. But if there was, if there was a team to have that, I would put it with Pat McAfee just to give him that kind of extra boost because he hasn't had that experience of being doing WWE commentary right. um, for a long time. I think that would probably be a, the best way to kind of start him off, and then you could take the other person away. But. We'll get to Adnan Verk, though, in a second. But what do you think about Pat McAfee joining WWE as uh, the SmackDown analyst? Um, I, I wish he would have some more matches, honestly, because we, we talked about how good he was, and I, I would love to see another, him in another match. Um, but I, like you said, I love his show. I think I think it just is going to take some time to get used to it, though. Because, I, I, mean, I mean, he is with Michael Cole. I mean, give, give him a little slack. Like, <laughs> Michael Cole isn't the isn't the best analyst, um, but uh, yeah, I think I think he'll get better as the time goes on. He um he definitely has the knowledge. I mean he had I mean he hasn't been wrestling that long, but at least what eight ten years I guess he's done a couple done a couple um indie, indie matches uh, before he wrestled in NXT. So I mean I I, I think that's a uh, accurate like eight ten years something like that. But um. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it, it, it takes a little while to to learn, you know, learn the move, learn the moves, how to how to call them, and in, in in that back and forth with that other commentator, again being Michael Cole, it's a, it's it's hard because Michael Cole isn't the best commentator. They always I always feel like they put Michael Cole with some of the better ones because he is so weak. But when you have two people that are new, like McAfee, I think it's kind of hard. Yeah, um, I mean, Michael Cole didn't always used to be bad at commentary. He was really good on no, SmackDown. When he was on SmackDown, he was great. He was good, but I, I think he kind of became Vince's, like, he became Vince's kind of voice, and mm -hmm. and that slowly eroded away the good commentary he had. He has moments where he's good, but, you know, it, it's like, sometimes it's so obvious. Like, you remember when, remember when Shane did his dive off the cell at Mania 32? If you if you watch it back, you like, like it's in plain view. Just next time you watch it, it's gonna take you completely out of the match. It's gonna ruin the match for you forever. Watch the match, uh, watch that bump, and when Shane falls, you can see Michael Cole pull out like a big 
thing of paper, looking down at Shane, for the love of mankind, reading right off of a paper. And it's like, for the love of mankind, written down on paper, you know, and he's reading it right off. And now every time I watch that match, that's all I, I ever see. Like, I, I don't even notice a bump anymore because all I see is, is uh, you know, him reading off that thing. So that's kind of been like the devolution of Michael Cole over the past yeah. uh, 10 years. And that's not even but, the first time he's done it. I've seen him do it a couple times. To read yeah. right off. Before, yeah. So. But I, th- I think Matt McAfee over time, he'll get better. I think he'll yeah. definitely get better. I hope he does because he's very entertaining to listen to. And I think, you know, I, I just, you know, I hope he can. SmackDown such a good show already, like with the talent. I just, I, I just feel like you know, adding another person would kind of give them the, the, uh, you know, the room to make mistakes and kind of like you know right. elevate them all a little bit. Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.